Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you are new. This is Blanca and we are going to walk around. I'm going to show you some orchids. I am going to give you some updates and um, and yeah that's what we're going to do today. <laughs> you guys it's evening. Um, it is Friday August 14th. It is almost 7 p.m. and this is the only time that I can be out here because South Florida is an inferno this summer. Um, heat index of 110 degrees insane 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 so anyways today's video is not about the weather <laughs> i am going to uh, give you an update last video that i posted um i had something going on in the back of my yard where i keep my orchids so in my orchid section there was and miss sherry baby right over here looking gorgeous looking gorgeous on my palm and i'm sorry if you guys hear a little bit of spanish but my neighbors have i guess company and they're being a little loud all right so uh last video um you guys made me laugh uh all that white stuff that was on top of my orchids um i finally think that i figured it out i did not take it anywhere um to get tested or anything it's been a crazy crazy week um i just kind of was out here with my husband and we were trying to figure it out and I think that the culprit came from all the way up here. So I have a huge royal palm up there, which you can't even probably see because I have so much stuff covering it. And then it has all of that stuff. You see that? So I'm thinking, and it wasn't even that windy that day. I'm thinking all that pollen came from came from that so what i've learned and you know this is why i like to post things on here because i always learn something new what i've learned is that male royal palms are the ones that have the pollen and they are the ones that i guess shed it or i don't know spread it or whatever um so most of the palms in my yard must be females because i really don't don't have that happening on on the other side of the yard just on that huge one there so i think that all of that white um grainy stuff that was all over was the pollen coming from that royal palm but you guys i'm telling you um you guys made me crack up uh i mean the <laughs> the everything you guys were saying on there like um it was it was just funny it was funny it was you know it was it was fun so uh thank you guys for um entertaining me no but thank you guys for uh just just um you know kind of telling me what it could be i was a little scared i didn't know what it was and and you guys helped me figure it out all right so let me show you some orchids let me show you what's going on over here um i've got some brand new spikes right over here on my vanda golden doubloon look at this i've got two flower spikes on there and that's the uh the vanda golden doubloon as soon as it as soon as it um it blooms i will definitely share with you my serenin tata sunrise i always forget her name and everything is a little moist my sprinklers were just on yeah my renin renin tata i hope i said that right sunrise is still in bloom gorgeous orange small blooms but pretty my pixie dust is still is still blooming also all right now loving this one right here this is my star i call it my starburst it's almost in full full bloom i mean look at those flowers amazing amazing and they smell as good as they look i mean they smell sweet like candy like a like an orange or raspberry starburst candy it smells amazing i love that uh, this is a tag for that one. That's my Vanda La Melada from my Vanda Mem Theon Chai. Purchased at a show from Platio, Plantio La Orquidia. And they're awesome. Uh, so I got word that the, uh, the show that was coming up in October got canceled, which I, I'm not surprised. I mean, I don't think we're going to be having any orchid shows this year, unfortunately. Uh, this is my Mem Theon Chai. I think that's the name. It's all yellow, no fragrance, but very pretty, very pretty yellow blooms. Yeah, now that the sun is behind me, you can see that. 
just such a beautiful beautiful yellow vibrant vanda and she's got another flower spike right where is it right over there let me stand on this side right over there so that's that's exciting uh, so yeah, every show uh, that I know has been canceled. So um, I guess we won't be seeing any shows till the beginning of the year. Hopefully we can go back to them um, sooner than that. Uh, the Brasavola Nodosa Mas Mejor has really, really surprised me this year. She has never bloomed so much. I guess that the, uh, the orchid is getting bigger. The plant is getting bigger. So she is just... Um, just non-stop beautiful 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 brassavola that and here is her tag i got this one at rf a while ago there you go brassavola nodosa mas mejor is her name all right so uh that's mm. oh i know that i was getting some i knew it so here uh, on some of my cattleyas, so this used to be my cattleya section, which it still is because I still have a lot of cattleyas, but now I've um, brought a lot more orchids in here. So I can't call it the cattleya section anymore, but these cattleyas are gonna bloom soon. Oh, and I have a tag. Usually um, on my trees, it's so hard to keep these tags there. So this is a tag for this one, Volcano. Volcano Beauty, RLC, Prima, I'm sorry, it's backwards, but Prima de Gracia. I was going to say Dracula. <laughs> RLC, Prima de Gracia, Volcano Beauty. Oh, man, and she's about to bloom. So this is good news. I hope I get to see her. So I hope I get to see anything that's about to bloom. Um, tomorrow is the big day, and it's so funny because you guys have been... Um, have been messaging me and I'm just gonna walk while I chat. I think it's gonna be a chatty video today. Um, you guys have been um, messaging me because um, some, as you guys know, both well, some of you know, um, my son is leaving for college. My first child that leaves my home, you know, Latins, Latin homes, we try to grab onto our kids um, forever. Uh, so the first child of mine that's leaving uh, to college and I get to do that tomorrow. <laughs> I get to do that tomorrow. So tomorrow I will be um, going on an adventure and dropping off my son um, in college on Monday. So uh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a very um, eventful and I guess happy sad weekend for me <laughs> because I get to drop him off in college. And here's a fowl. And I don't, I don't know how that's gonna go. I've never done that before, so wish me luck. I'll probably be grabbing onto his leg and not letting him go. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm very happy for him, you know? He's gonna go play baseball there, so it's gonna be fun. He's actually gonna be in North Carolina. So he's not, not too far from home. All right, you guys, so uh, this is my Renanthera. So this is my Renanthera story from Ritter's. Uh, she gave this to me in bloom and I promise you it did not look like this it was more um, it was prettier it was more red uh, it's either thrips or the Sun um, I did th treat it for thrips uh, last weekend so hopefully when I get some new blooms it will be it will be um, more of a velvety red like the renanthras usually are I mean she's still pretty but a little bit streaky so that's the Renanthera right over there. All right. So let's walk around. Love, love what's going on here. Um, this is a dendrobium. Actually, it's like uh, two dendrobiums that have attached uh, on this palm. And look at that. It's a dendrobium party over here. I've got so many, so many spikes. Uh, I'm not sure what color. I know this one's going to be purple. This is one right here. And I've got vinyl all over my nails. Sorry. Um, and I'm not sure what color that one's going to be. But my dendrobiums are very happy. Love, if you guys attach um, orchids to your trees like me, um, I'm sure that um, your dendrobiums right now are doing amazing. 
Uh, they love the heat. They love to be mounted. So they are always very happy when they are attached. Okay, this is my, my gumbo limbo tree. Everything's just growing. I don't have that, that many flowers uh, this week. My Valera Perigurath Carpenter is still in bloom. That's nice. Oh, and I've gotten to, to the point where I don't even look at this um, twinkle anymore because it has been uh, with these same five spikes, uh, flower spikes, I promise you for like three months and nothing. So I don't know, whenever she decides to bloom, I will... I'll share that with you, with you. And there's another, another Bolera Big Shot, Pink Panther, and Bloom. All right, let's check on the uh, Vanilla Orchid. I have not checked on her in a while. And as I walk towards this section, I have to tell you that the iguana is back. I saw it today, and there's a vanilla orchid. I saw it today and I almost died. I was not expecting it and I almost stepped on top of an iguana. That's the vanilla orchid right there. So what I do, I told you it was going to be a chatty one. Um, what I do is that uh, I come out here and I like to take pictures of my candles that I make right before I deliver them to, um, to the customers or right before I ship them out. And I just take pictures like right here in this area. So I'm out here taking pictures and this iguana just starts walking right next to me and I almost fainted. I did, I did, I almost fainted. <laughs> um, but you know, I, I guess I scared it off. It jumped in the pool. And if you wanna see the ugly iguana again, and I'm sorry you guys, I know, I just don't like them. Um, you will see the iguana just sitting here in my Instagram and the iguana's back. And I promise you, it is bigger than it was the last time, if it's the same one huge green iguana um, i guess it has plenty of fun eating eating all of these um, bushes and trees here uh, because it does not attack my orchids so if you guys um i know you guys probably tell me that iguanas attack orchids uh, thankfully they have not found my orchids so that's the um, iguana update and that's it lots of sherry baby um, flower spikes in my yard lots and lots of sherry baby spikes and i've got another renanthera right over here which is about to bloom so well it's not about to bloom but it'll bloom soon and there's my sherry baby again all right you guys so this was my walk my evening walk around my garden i hope that you guys enjoyed it uh <laughs> you guys that um you know we're wondering what the pollen was there you go. I'm pretty sure it came from the royal palms like I mentioned before. So uh, that's it. And look, you see iguana leaves um, special gifts for me inside the pool. That's also why I don't like them. Um, so that is it. This was uh, today's video. Uh, like I said, you probably won't see me again until next week. I will be um, taking my child to college. So wish me luck. <laughs> And, um, and that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you soon in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.